Cetaphil has come out with a new line called Healthy Renew and I have been trying out their serum. It's got these little orbs. Can you see that? But when you pump the product out, the orbs squish so it comes out fully dissolved. I'm just gonna do two pumps. Healthy Renew Face Serum Purified Peptides. So the peptides come from, I believe, uh, soy extract. Peptides are moisturizing and therefore have like a nice wrinkle smoothing effect. But soy, as a side note, has isoflavones in it that have been shown to have several skin benefits. I have a video all about the skin benefits of topical soy. Like it's good for hyperpigmentation and it's also good for um, uh, helping your skin combat oxidative stress in theory, again, de depending on if the antioxidants are in the right place at the right time. It's a pretty nice lightweight serum. I've been liking it. The cream, however, is really nice. It's like really thick. It's gonna be a good one for the colder months when the air gets dry. I don't know if they revamped. They had like a healthy radiance line for a while there that had similar a similar label. I don't know if they revamped that. Anyway, I'm gonna come in with my Invisible Daily Face Serum from Neutrogena. This is a water resistant SPF 60 plus organic, aka chemical sunscreen, which for me, this one does not sting my eyes. I recently finished up that Banana Boat Protection Plus Vitamins one, um, and I've been using this. This, I think, was it a 2022 sunscreen or drugstore favorite? Um, I really liked this because it's super light. It's not really shiny either. But one thing about this sunscreen, it's fragrance free, but it kind of smells a little bit like the CE Ferulic from like a vitamin C serum. It has that vitamin C, a hint of that vitamin C serum smell to it. I don't know you guys. Does my jawline look any more snatched since I've been doing my bobblehead exercises. I don't think it does. They've gotten easier, I will say that. Um, I feel like I've gotten a little bit more efficient at using that thing. Going up on the weight actually helps. Makes it a little bit more easy to get in the rhythm of it. But I don't necessarily feel that the, the heavier weight is any heavier. It kind of feels the same in terms of like, it doesn't feel any weightier. Like, especially when I'm just holding it in my hand. I, I can barely tell the difference between the different weight sizes. They all kind of feel more or less the same. Time to crack into a new bag of my four Siggy. Praise the Lord, the glue is back. Oh, the first whip is the greatest. Yeah, if you've never tried this coffee, I strongly recommend it. I need to go on the Amazonian and check out, yes, I know you're gonna say it's too early to be thinking about that, but it's not. I need to see if there are any cute Christmas pillowcases because it, I just swap out the cases on my little throw pillows and I worry that the ones that might be cute will sell out. So might as well go ahead and look on there now while I'm thinking of it and wanna waste time on the internet. So I ran into CVS, I wanted to look at some of the makeup and oh my God, their ridiculous door alarm was going off every two seconds. So I'm just gonna do voiceover because that is a headache that you all do not need. Like CVS, if you're watching this, please rethink the door alarm system. It is a miserable shopping experience some days when it's crowded in there and that thing is going off. Here I am like a moth to a flame. Anytime there is a water bottle or a lip gloss, I have to go and check it out. I've been loving for years now the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shines, but I always get tempted to try other things. These look really promising, Glamingo Pink, but I don't know. I think they might be too sticky. Let me know if you've tried them. They have a lot of different shades. CoverGirl is hit or miss, I found. These lipsticks look like something that I had in my ballet days too. I was tempted to get them just for nostalgia's sake, but I did not. Okay, over here by the Milani section, they had this rose butter lip mask. I feel like lip masks are all over the place ever since the Laneige one has become so popular. 
But if you are new here, I have tried the Laneige sleep mask multiple times and it is the most disappointing thing. So I don't know, to me it's like trying to dupe a disappointment, but maybe the, the Milani one is good. This Prep and Brighten face oil is a blend of different uh, oils, which can smooth the skin surface. It also has fragrance in it. I don't understand. I didn't really read the instructions, but like if you put that on before makeup, it seems like the makeup would just pill up and not set. Speaking of set, this is a makeup setting spray. I get questions about these. Um, I think they, you know, they obviously serve their purpose, but they can be a little drying. So if you have dry skin, be aware of that. This one says something about blue light. What is the deal there? Blue light from the sun causes a lot of oxidative stress. So I guess some antioxidants in that spray um, is what they were kind of reaching for there. I don't know. This is a makeup setting spray with sunscreen. I would not rely on this as your sole sunscreen because it's probably not going to give an even coverage of adequate protection, but I kind of like the idea of having sunscreen in there because, hey, the more that you put on your skin, the better. Um, so I might try this under eye concealer. I've been looking for a good drugstore one and oh, wouldn't you know it, Milani has a makeup removing cleansing balm. Y'all know I love cleansing balms. I need to try this. Uh, I just finished the e.l.f. Uh, all calm, not e.l.f. all calm, e.l.f. Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm, I really liked it. All right, CVS is not letting us down in the fall and Halloween decor. Dance on in there because they have some cute finds and they also have my love, Tuscany Candle. They have some unique scents that I did not find at my local Kroger. So if you don't have Kroger in your area and you're always like lusting after my Tuscany candle finds, check CVS because I've noticed they've started carrying them and they often have really good, a really good selection. The prices were pretty good too in comparison to like Michael's or Joann's where they tend to jack up the price on holiday decorations. They had a lot of Halloween decorations, although you know how I feel about those light up Christmas trees for Halloween. I do not like the cross contamination of holidays. Stay in your lane. They had a lot of cute little bobbly doll type items. <laughs> I love those pumpkins with the ghosts on them. It seems like something that would be easy to DIY, but that one was ceramic. And you know, sometimes when you try and DIY something, it ends up being like 10 times more expensive than if you just buy the thing. And then you're stuck with all these supplies that you have to then organize and buy more stuff. So sometimes it's worth it to just buy the already made thing. <laughs> Contrary to what they were saying, CVS appears to have more than adequate supplies when it comes to Halloween candy. There allegedly is a sugar shortage, but I see no shortage of the sweet stuff. Speaking of cross pollination of the holidays, this is another thing. Like, I love these little Halloween decorating house kits, but like, I don't know. They start to lose their appeal once you have them for every single holiday. So when it comes time for Christmas, you're like, do I really need to decorate a gingerbread house? Oh my God, is this little thing not adorable? This little dancing pumpkin man. They also had a little, um, what is this called? Uh, Frankenstein. <laughs> Those are adorable. They had some Halloween socks too. Guess where I went next? Your favorite place, the car wash. Only this time we're viewing it from the outside. Yes, that's right. I splurged today and did the inside and the outside car cleaning package because Mozzie is turning the big seven. Seven years I have had my car. And so this is what the car wash looks like from the outside in case you were wondering. Uh, you have seen it multiple times in many of my videos from the inside. It's always a fun time. How often do you guys wash your car? Do you wash the interior every time you wash the car? I have to be honest with you, I am not the best when it comes to cleaning the inside of my car because frankly, it just does not get that dirty. Um, as, you know, I spend time in there behind the wheel and that's about it. I don't eat in my car, but it was long overdue for a vacuum and a wipe down. So I'm glad I got that done. CVS mini haul. I went ahead and got a new eyebrow pencil. I've been loving the brow pencil from, I think it's called Tony Moly. I talked about it, it's a Korean makeup brand. It's really good, but I saw this wet and wild one that sort of looks similar. So I decided to give that a try. We shall see how that performs. Then I went with two concealers to see how, you know, they compared. Uh, I got the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect in the shade 125 light natural good within 12 months of opening it says long wear so i'm a little concerned about that long wear stuff tends to be drying in my experience 
but we shall see. I also got this Physicians Formula Butter Glow Concealer Corrector. It's dual-ended. So I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape and it's okay, but I feel as though there has to be a drugstore option that performs just as well because it's not like, you know, mind blowing or anything. So we'll see how these do. All of this was $30. So there's that. That seems like a lot to me, but I think the Tarte Shape Tape is $30. So I guess it's a good deal. So I ordered some organizers on the Amazonian for cosmetics and things, and they came uh, this four piece set. Let's go ahead and check them out. First up, comes with little silicon nubbins, which is a good thing. Nicely packed. Nice bins for storage. Yeah, I thought these would be good for storing sunscreen that I have in progress and I need to finish up. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice uh, Pure Mineral Relief Daily Sunscreen. I really like this one. Key Calm Water Barrier Sun Cream. I purchased this um, and I've been trying it out. I got it on Amazon, it's fragrance free. It's really nice. It's got ceramides, uh, glutathione. It's really emollient, but it's not shiny or greasy. And of course it's got really great UV filters in it. Then I've also been trying out the new R&R Sun Cream. Um, this is really nice too. It's also kind of emollient. It's an organic AKA chemical sunscreen. Ah, freeze up all of this space. I had all of this clutter here. I need to dust that off, but I didn't end up stacking these, but they are gonna work out perfect. Cause I get a lot of, you know, stuff that I'm kind of in progress showing in my videos and things that I like to keep here. I got this on the Amazonian a while back to store my sunglasses and I've been really happy with it. So I went ahead and took everything out of the packaging too, just so it takes up less space. Here's that KP moisturizer. And the Isntree Yam Root Cleanser. This I got in the K Beauty Advent Calendars last Christmas, and I love it. It's a peach hand cream. The peach scent is really nice, but I try and avoid fragrance and hand cream, so I just use it here and there. This is a favorite too, the eczema hand cream. Yeah, it's nice to just have that so I can see it, but it's all kind of together, not floating around. But it came with four of these. I just moved the other two into my bedroom. I'm gonna fill them up with some other things later. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So I ordered some more Oomph uh, candies. If you are if you missed it, this brand you can get on Amazon. They are no sugar candies. And the last batch that I got were gummies. But these are the original batch that I first got when I first tried these, the mini chews. And I highly recommend the mini chews. The gummies are pretty good, but I prefer the mini chews because they're akin to the, the consistency of like Laffy Taffy. The green apple and the passion fruit are my favorite. Lemon's really good too. I wish they had banana. Um, I don't know what they're talking about with the apple cider vinegar. I don't really taste that, but whatever. Um, it's sweetened with allulose and monk fruit. So one gram of sugar. These are really good. Here's what they look like. They come individually wrapped. And here's what they look like. Kind of like a starburst almost. They're the consistency a bit of like Laffy Taffy. They're a little sticky. You can see it sticks a bit to the wrapper, but it pretty much all comes off without being too sticky. And it's the consistency of like Laffy Taffy. I love these. The lemon is a delicious. Hey guys, man, I had a hard time balancing you on the little tripod thing. I am out of the shower, obviously. Came in just now with the road glazing milk and the peptide glazing fluid. So that's the mambo combo that I have on right now. Um, and I'm also gonna come on over that with the bubble overnight hydrating sleep mask. I've been doing this a couple of times a week. 
uh, and so far, you know, I don't know. Uh, this, I don't know that it's like a win, but it's not a loss. Let me know if you guys have tried any bubble skincare. Everything I've tried so far, I've been sort of, I don't know, we'll say seven out of 10, not a fail, but not like, oh my God, we're back again. I'm gonna try a new hair care product out though because I have finished up the Moroccan oil styling cream that I love so much. And I bought this Redken Acidic Perfecting Concentrate. I bought it a while ago, but I've been holding off on trying it. It has 5% conditioning care complex. Just says apply to clean, damp hair. Leave in, do not rinse, style as usual. So I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna put it in tonight. It says it's an intense conditioning, heat protection, styling aid, hydration, intense protection. And I don't know if I should do up closer to my roots, but I think I'm just gonna do like kind of the bottom, roughly 60% of my hair here with this. I'm just gonna do a nice, nice scent on first whip. Kind of smells, kind of smells like a candle. Kind of smells like a candle scent. Not as, not as nice though as that Moroccan oil, but anyway, we'll see. I don't want to go overboard with it. I'm not getting so much that it, it doesn't feel like it goes into the hair as well as that styling cream. Let me do another little, little tidbit here. Could be going overboard with it, but. Wow, that smells nice. That smells really nice. Now, I always point out fragrance is a common allergen, uh, contact allergen. It's like, it, when it comes to personal care products, it is like one of the most common contact allergens. And if you're allergic to it, you've got to avoid it, including in hair care products. I try and avoid it in skincare products, especially those that I leave on, because I find it irritating for me. But hair, I'm the opposite. I love heavily scented hair care products. If I like the scent, I mean, it's basically like, you know, having a little perfume, it just smells nice. And this, this does smell like a Christmas candle I had once upon a time. It is not a bad scent. Let me know if you guys have tried this product from Redken. The scent of this is not bad. We'll see how my, how my hair does though. Um, and I'll update you guys probably next weekend as to how, how this worked out for me. I've been trying to wear my hair down more lately because A, it's, you know gotten a little bit cooler it's not as humid and so i try and get my hair you know when i'm wearing my hair in that bun all the time it can put a lot of traction on the strands and lead to traction hair loss fortunately i haven't developed that or anything but i do try and change out my hairstyles and when i wear my hair up as often as i do i make sure that i'm not pulling it super tight you know classically you think of traction alopecia like right here and this area is like most vulnerable you get a little triangle here of thinning and hair loss from pulling your hair back. But uh, you can get it pretty much anywhere, like including back here. Uh, so if you wear your hair up a lot, try and you know change up your hairstyle, or at least change the direction, like with braids, for example, change the direction that you braid your hair. Um, you know, give it a break from time to time to alleviate some of that stress on the hair follicle from all that chronic traction. The other thing is don't go to sleep with your hair up in like a twist like this. Like I put my hair like this just to get it up off of my neck. But if I were to lie down in the bed and like roll around, that'd be a lot of traction on. I mean, first of all, who can go to bed like that? Not me. I see these gals though, they go to bed with these heatless curls, like this big foam thing. I don't know how people can stand that. That looks like not much fun. Some people take like the belt from their robe and they put it here and they wrap their hair around it. This was a trend, I think, on TikTok a couple of years ago. And then, you know, they wake up in the morning and then they take that out and it's like they have these nice heatless curls. I tried that. It was not fun and it did not, it, it didn't work out so well for me. But I mentioned this recently, my hair over the past, I would say year and a half has gotten progressively wavier and wavier. So I'm wondering now if I tried it, tried that out, if I could get it to, to stay, but. I don't know. I'm not that motivated to have you know, nice curls. <laughs> uh, anyway, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. If you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.